Pavlov have just released a teaser trailer for their new upcoming Update 29. It starts with a subtle reveal for crossplay between PSVR 2 and Steam users. Then it shows a couple interesting features, prone and hand gestures. It's surprising that these are only being added now, but it's nice that they will finally be added. Then we get to see a list of many new game modes being added, with the first one being Infection. This is a classic Call of Duty game mode where one person tries to kill everyone else by infecting them to get them on their team. But then we get to see this masterpiece of a game mode, which is of course Prop Hunt. This is going to be like the best game mode for Pavlov and I can't wait to make hundreds of videos on it. But next are just some new night maps, basically the same maps but just in night time. We then get to see that Sand is getting a revamp which looks quite interesting. We also get a look at two new weapons, the PKM and Scorpion, along with 10 new player models. It then ends with a ton of new features sped up, so I'll have to slow it down for you. First is just a revamp of smoke grenades. Next is a revamp of the IK system, which I believe is how the body animations work, like the arms and legs. Then we see the engine upgrade, which will make the game perform and look better. They will also be adding an admin menu, which I assume will be for the host of the game. Then onto team-based weapons, similar to CSGO, where terrorists and counter-terrorists have different weapons that they can buy. A mod kit overhaul, which I assume is how custom items are imported. Adjusted spawns, so when you die, you won't respawn in front of the enemy. A motorcycle, which will be cool. A sound overhaul, which is most likely weapon sounds, and maybe even movement sounds. Performance optimization which is related to the new engine upgrade releasing in the update. UI overhaul, which is nice because Pavlov UI isn't the best thing to look at or even use. Name tag options, so you can get rid of the large background behind it or even get rid of it entirely. Weapon filters, I guess this will change the available weapons for the match so you can filter out which weapons people can use and can't use. Even more TTT roles and items. You can see the most recent roles that were added last year in this video here. And finally, an in-game mod browser, making mods integrated with the game, which makes it easier to find and download mods. And the best of all, all of this will be available right now. You can download and play the update today.